Hello everyone, this is Kwaku from Next Gen Windows. And really, really, really quickly, just do a quick rundown on the Windows 10 event. Yes, that's right. It is called Windows 10. It is not Windows 9. They skipped 9. Maybe they're playing they're playing on the thing about because 7, 8, 9. Uh, so they went straight to 10. If you don't understand that, it's a long story. Uh, but this is Windows 10. And before I show you this image over here, let's slide over here to this video over here. And let me try to get this video ready. So as you saw right there, you might think that video sounded kind of confusing. This is just how Windows 10 works with touch interfaces. Basically, in a, in a long story short, without listening to this entire video from The Verge, uh, basically, say if you're using a Surface or a device that you have a touch screen as well. When it senses that you want to use a touch screen, as in you probably touch the screen, it will prompt, do you want to use the touch screen? If you hit, hit yes, apps that are currently open that are modern style applications like OneNote for the uh, Metro style or modern style from the Windows Store, apps that are from there will automatically switch to full screen and they'll pretty much run just like in Windows 8 uh, but then uh, you'll be able to swipe in left and right and things like that just like Windows 8 but another thing you'll be able to see is that right here on the taskbar if you go back slightly over here uh, you see right here there is in fact a back button so if you want to go back to a previous app you can go back very easily that is one thing a lot of people did not know how to do if they were new to Windows 8 or if they were not enth tech enthusiasts like uh, a lot of like you and I uh, then they didn't know how to go back and things like that they, they didn't know about the swiping gestures and all that stuff so now they've added a way to have the swiping gestures and one quick thing is that you'll notice here the three icons right here, the Windows button, the back key, and the search key, this is the task view key, that's what it's called. But these three buttons right here, these are the same buttons that are on Windows Phone currently. So that already shows that they already have the buttons for Windows Phone pretty much laid out already how they could be uh, when it comes out in January. I think the preview version of Windows Phone 10 will be coming out in January. So that is one quick note about Windows 10 how it will work on touch devices. Now we're going to switch back into another thing real quick. We're going to switch into, let's go here. Let's go full screen. And we're going to see here, this is a 4K picture from Tom Warren on The Verge uh, by Win, Win, Windows RT Source. They posted this image. Uh, this is how Windows 10 looks like on 4K displays. I know this does not look like 4K. Maybe they cropped it a little bit because it's kind of cropped. It's kind of cropped out. You don't see the time in the corner. Or maybe this could be a secondary display. But point is, this is how the Windows 10 looks like up close. So right here, you're going to see the start menu here confirmed because they've already showed it. You're going to see your modern style icons, your modern icons right here, with the exception of Adobe, the Adobe Suite, which is not a modern style, but uh, you can post any, you can put pin any application to the start screen if you wanted to, which this is just called the start menu now. Uh, you can see everything looks just about the same. Only you have a search here, you have the task view button here, you have the Windows key here, which allows you to go the win the start button rather that allows you to open up the start menu. So let's go back slightly. We're just looking on Twitter currently. This is another interesting image right here. Windows 10 also allows you to have. Uh, when you swap into uh, touch mode and you try to bring up the start menu, it'll instead bring up this menu here, which is basically the new start screen. So right here, you'll notice on the new start screen, you have 
what looks to be like a full like a shrink screen button looks as if when you click that button it'll shrink back to the start button or it'll shrink back to the start menu and then when you click this right here it'll probably obviously turn off the computer or it'll prompt you what you want to do whether you want to restart go to sleep or turn off um, and then this is another new thing right here is all apps shows up pretty differently all apps is as soon as you click on it uh, it'll bring up all apps I'm not sure how it'll look like maybe it'll look like all apps right here I highly doubt it but they hopefully they have it more organized this time around but it won't look like this that's the point uh, let's go back to that image you can see here you have your pinned applications I guess I'm guessing these are the pinned applications that will be on your start menu I don't know how they decipher uh, what applications will show up on this left side here because obviously the preview is not out yet for me to get my hands on this right here looks interesting too this right here looks as if Instagram is on Windows 8 now um, that's an interesting logo right there. I'm not sure. I've never seen that. Another thing that I th I'm not sure about really is this LinkedIn button too because there's no LinkedIn application on Windows 8.1 currently either. Neither is there a Pandora application. Neither is there an official YouTube application. So these buttons right here, these three right here, or these four rather, these four are kind of interesting to me. Uh, I'm not sure exactly... Uh, what those could if they're coming soon with the preview or whether they're coming in the future with the official release RTM of Windows 10 another thing you will notice is that whether this is an old build I'm not sure because Netflix does not have this logo anymore Netflix has a white logo now they have a white background so I'm not sure why some of these icons look like the old icons but point is uh, I'm just looking deep into some things that you probably might not have noticed at first glance um, but now you probably will notice and it'll never, you know, it'll never get out of your mind. Another thing here is Spotify here. I'm not sure whether this, this is just a desktop Spotify or maybe Spotify is finally making a modern style app for the Windows Store. So that's another interesting thing you can do. So another thing, let's go back one quick bit. Uh, let's take a look at all the devices that Windows 10 is going to be on. So they say one product family, one platform, one store. One interesting thing before I even go down to this right here. In fact, what is that? This this looks like a system on a chip. So this is ARM. I'm not sure exactly, but right here, <clears throat> right here. If I could, if only I could zoom in on this, but I can't. Um, let's see. No, but right here, if you can look closely, maybe if you can uh, pause this video and pinch in, if you have a touch screen. Let's see if I can in fact zoom in. Oh, yes, I, I can zoom in. Right there. This is the connect. Um, this is an interesting thing for me because we haven't, I'm not sure either I'm late or we have not seen uh, what's coming up in November or in the near future for Xbox One. And one thing that you will notice is that yes, connect is for windows. Now you can get connect for windows now also, but this is connect on a big screen and this is connect on a TV. Um, the Xbox one menu does not look like this at all. It doesn't look like this one bit. And what you can notice up close is that there's achievements here. You can see the achievements written right there. Music, this looks as if it says live TV. So yes, this is a TV. Another thing you're going to notice is messages here. You've got two messages. You have Minecraft for Xbox One. You have your uh, Xbox avatar. And you also have Skype and NFL. And this is the new Netflix logo. Um, and then your account profile right there. So an interesting thing that you might, I could decipher from this is that Either we're going to get a brand new refresh dashboard near the release of Windows 10 for Xbox One, or this is just a mock-up that may be a possibility of what Xbox One could look like in the near future for the dashboard. However, I could say this for sure if they do release a dashboard that looks like this. I don't know how uh, the public is going to react to it because it is radically different. Um, yes, Xbox One does have a lot of spacing and it has organization, but this one does not have any organization all it has is giant icons for games these two games and then what looks as if maybe this would be a disc game or maybe you can resize it it's just there's no organization for this uh this tv interface here but it is radically different and it is something that uh we haven't seen yet we haven't even seen a preview of this kind of dashboard yet i haven't heard anything about it i'm not sure what where microsoft is going with that dashboard uh, one thing you will also notice is that when you turn your tablet to be vertical, you'll also notice that it looks as if on this one, I can't zoom into, I can't zoom in because it is too gl uh, glary, not glary, it is too uh, blurry, but you'll notice that 
this is kind of like Windows Phone. Um, I'm not sure if your eyes can see it very well, if you have good or bad eyes. But these are four small icons in this corner. This is one uh, medium I icon, or maybe large icon. Uh, and then they have the medium square icons. This is exactly how Windows Phone is currently without the spacing. You can't put spacing in Windows Phone. But this is exactly how Windows Phone is right now. They have three rows, th three columns of icons, unless you, unless you stretch things out and things like that. But I'm guessing based on this, we didn't see anything of it yet. But based on this, it looks as if uh, when you turn your tablet or device, or if you have a phone like these smaller devices, because Windows Phone is supported up to 10 inches, I think now, um, it will, instead of scrolling left and right, it'll scroll up and down just like a regular Windows phone, which is something that I was hoping they would do a long time ago, and they finally did uh, in this upcoming release. So that's an interesting thing to see. So we can see a little glimpse at the future of Windows phone of possibly what it could look like. And it looks as if some icons are different colors too, which you can't do in Windows phone currently. You just pick one theme and all icons look like that unless you have a transparent background on the icon. So that's an interesting look at Windows 10. So in summary, things you'll be getting in Windows 10, the preview currently is the new style start menu here, the ability to detach tablets like your Surface Sys keyboard to go into touch mode, in which case you'll get this full screen style uh, look for Windows 10. Uh, and then if you put the keyboard back, you will get this traditional desktop style mode. And yes, you can always switch between it without having to uh, detach and things like that. You'll also get the task view mode, which allows you to switch different tasks. Let's see if I can actually take a look at that. You'll get a task view mode, which allows you to switch desktops very easily. Not sure where this came from for The Verge, but let's see if we can find it. The charms bar is also coming back as well. Let's click on photos and see more. Um, let's see. So things like that, you'll be able to have multiple desktops open. So these, this right here, they have five desktops open right there, or maybe maybe six even. This is, I think, a Surface Pro 2. Yeah, this is the Pro 2, and it looks as if it's it's open. It's plugged into like five different monitors, uh, which is crazy. I don't know if that's even possible, but if it is open to five different monitors, it's possible that they have open five different desktops, or let's see, a total of five different desktops on each monitor, not including the surface itself. So you'll have task view, which allows you to switch between different tasks, different desktops, actually. You can set one for home, for, home, for work, for school, set one for gaming, home, work, school, set one for um, your sister, your brother, your mother, your father, for one person so you don't have to make more than one account. You can set one for different things, for whatever you feel like it, you can set it for that. So that's another thing you can do is task view and basically the five the six things you'll be able to do in windows 10 so far are a new desktop the switching between touch mode and classic mode which i call classic mode which is just desktop um no it won't be as touch friendly you can have task view which allows you to open different desktops at the same time which is like virtual desktop uh you'll be able to have this new mode here which allows you when you touch type in a when you put in a touch, when you put in a touch command, uh, you'll be able to have a new, you know, start menu. And on top of that, you'll be able to have multiple different things open at the same time. It'll be able to snap up to four applications on the desktop. When currently, if you snap different applications on the desktop, let's see if I can open up. Say, if I open up Photoshop, or better yet, let's yeah, let's try to open up Photoshop. So if I try to open a Photoshop, even even if I try to snap Chrome right now, it'll only snap to the right or left. See, it'll open up half the screen, and I have a pretty wide screen. Uh, but in Windows 10, you'll be able to put it in this corner, and it'll only take up a quarter of the screen, uh, unlike some monitors, unlike mine, where I can you know choose different things because it's a monitor software feature. So that's a cool thing that you can do. So look forward to Windows 10 technical preview coming out tomorrow servers will probably be overloaded unless you stay up very late to download it uh, servers, uh you can basically look forward to it tomorrow i don't know what time but you can sign up for the preview program at preview.windows.com i'm already signed up for the preview so i'll be ready to go and as soon as i get my hands on it i'll probably download it onto the surface pro and then i'll do a video on it taking a look at my first look
of Windows 10, the next version and the future of Windows from Microsoft. This has been Quaker for Next Gen Windows, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.